So here's the brine. Good to go. Salty and sugary. All the aromatic spices there. And this is what it is. The hen look like here. Burst. The is here. And up here. So this is uh, how, we, how we brine the poultry game or bird. Uh, the brining is in culinary uh, kind of processing the kind of marination, you know, the juice for making the meats juicy and flavorful. And this goes into sitting overnight and tomorrow you just pull out from this, drain it basically and roast it uh, you know, as we, as you want it. So let's, let's see tomorrow what turns out. So again, especially we do brine uh, the meat, poultry, basically meat, not really, but it's uh, like basically game and bird, game and bird like that. Uh, more wild and gamey meat like wild boar, pork, venison, or turkey. Uh, sometimes you can do the chicken if you like. You can do the chicken on poultry. It works very good. Yeah, that's cool. And brine it. You know. So you change the colors. All the spice goes inside. Then. We're gonna roast it, we can rub with, you know, all kind of, any kind of aromatics rub you like it. I'm gonna do something different. Let's see what's gonna happen. Try to brine it, cornish hand. So I'm gonna roast it like the same spices that I brine it. And then you can one piece of uh, star anise. Just get a little bit of flavor. So I'm gonna rub with salt and crushed pepper, freshly ground crushed pepper, and uh, this is five spice here. It's a Chinese uh, five spice. Uh, basically, it's Chinese New Year's, you know, kind of flavor of fusion. And let's try. This is an uh, all-purpose blended oil, and kind of a little bit of rub. Mm. And then that's how you get the flavor and spice. This is I want to actually tie, but I don't have any of this thing. So you can just do like that. And leave it for a while. Then go in the oven. 250 degrees. About 35 to 40 minutes. Or 45 minutes. Until done, you know, roasted, nice flavor. That's about it. So let's see how it's gonna turn out smooth. So here is a final plating of cornish here with the roasted potatoes and green beans. Cut with the poison glaze.